Yo, what's going on YouTube? So in today's video, I'm gonna finally be showing you guys how you guys can get a custom dash. So I did post this on Instagram. If you guys don't have me on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me at Dynamic Demon Racing. Um, I did post on Instagram a sneak peek of it when it first came in the mail. Everybody was hitting me up asking me where to get this, who did this, how much was it? So I got it from a guy in a place pretty much named Van Oxy. Um, it was about close to $100, some shit like that. It was only that much because I did pick the carbon fiber design. You guys will see that here later on in the video and the end result and everything. But you guys can get a custom name, any color you want, uh, pretty much any car. You can make the shit yellow, red, green, blue, whatever your car color is. You can change whatever, fully customizable, you know what I mean? But before you guys take off in the video, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the end result, how hard it was to install, how to install it. If you guys do have a B8.5 Audi S4, I do have my full dash completely taken out. Um, the piano black trim is laying right there. Got everything installed. But if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram at Dynamic Demon Racing. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys some new merch that I'm going to be dropping. I am making a store. I can't release the story now, but I'm trying to get everything ready first. I'm thinking of more designs and everything, but stay tuned to the end of the video. That way you guys can see pretty much. I'm going to show you guys majority of the designs that I got. You guys are not going to want to miss out, but let's get into it. All right, now that we got this out, there's a sensor back here. You got to disconnect. It's for your hazards. So pretty much now we have no dash. There's your um, MMI screen, but there's eight millimeter bolts. These are eight millimeters. Um, those gotta get taken off. And there it is. So now let's take this to the table. And what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna buff the glass so the glass won't be all scratched up and it'll look brand new. But we're gonna take this to the table and pretty much break it down and show you guys what's next. All right, so you're gonna wanna flip it to the back. And this is when your Torx T10 comes into play. So there's gonna be a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. or six of them, it looks like. And that's gonna separate pretty much this middle piece from this back piece and then you'll just be open glass. So let me get the T10 on. I would use a drill for this, but I don't want to break anything because it's such a fragile and small part. All right, so once you have your uh, Torx bits taken out, there's gonna be little pins on the side, like little latches. Just going on to unhook those. And everything should separate after this. Should be a few more on the bottom. And here we are. There is the instrument cluster. Everything looks really good. So now we're gonna put the new one on. This is the new replacement one. You guys can see the difference, carbon fiber. I personally like the silver trim on this, but whatever. All right, so I got one side in. So what you're gonna have to do, I still have to fix this little needle. What you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to pop the caps of these needles off. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. You're gonna wanna get control of one side. And it literally just pops right up. And it just peels right off. So time for the new one. So the instructions say there's a film in the back, but there's no film in the back. So what I used was double-sided tape. You, I recommend using obviously thinner tape. This shit is thick as fuck. Use thinner tape, just put it like right there pretty much and where, wherever else it'll need it, like a bunch of weird places, but it's just gonna slap on just like that. 
All right, so I got it on. So what I did was I added some double-sided tape about right here. I pretty much just flattened it all out. It looks really good. Everything's looking really good. Now I just have to slide the needles back on. small needle for the fuel which I definitely didn't break just give me a full tank but um yeah this is pretty much it now I just have to basically what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna buff this because there's a lot of like oxidation and shit I don't know if you guys can see like the cuts and shit on the camera but yeah I'm gonna buff this real quick I'm gonna do my best to buff it all right, so I buffed the glass the best I could because obviously I wasn't gonna put the real buffer on it, but I hand buffed it. So now it's time to basically slap everything back together. Whoa, make sure your needles are where they're supposed to be. That way they don't get snapped off like that one almost just did. But um, everything's looking really good so far, to be honest. Snap those in. So this is pretty much it. I have to tighten the um, the back parts and everything, but this shit looks fire as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Um, just gotta tighten in the backs, and then we're gonna slap it in the car. So just like how you took those what was six screws out, install those six screws right back in. I think it was with your T10. Yeah, it was with a T10. But um, yeah, we're just gonna slap those screws right back in. All right, so. Pretty much the end result looks pretty good. So now we're gonna reverse everything we did to slap it back in. So I gotta plug the sensor back up. That shit is hard. all right guys so everything is done the shit does look really good the demon s4 does light up but i do have a little bit of tape over a light so that's why it's a little dim in the middle but other than that this shit came out really nice it does complement the carbon fiber steering wheel wrap that i have um, highly recommend hitting up Venoxy. I made a lot of custom changes to mine by making it carbon fiber, extending the miles per hour down to 200 because B8, say 200, B8.5, stop at 160, but it keeps going. So I went down to 200. And I also did stamp the Demon S4 on the car. So it's official, it's solidified. I have the Demon S4. Nobody else better get that. But let me know what you guys think about the merch in the comments down below. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Go. Pull up in the demon and never die I can't take my foot off the gas. I'm a slam. Once I hit the street, I'ma do me some damage. Stay troopers behind me. Yeah, Tom.